The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the finest under of the soul and the spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Welcome everyone to our daily doctrinal Bible study through the YouTube of the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. Without much ado, let us prepare ourselves for the study of the Word of God. If you are a believer, use the principle of 1 John 1 9 the rebound technique so you can be uh, restored back to fellowship with God and God the Holy Spirit will control your mind as you study God's Word now for you unbeliever it is faith alone in Christ alone Acts 16 31 says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved Therefore, let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you that uh, we can gather ourselves again together today to worship you, to study your word, and to focus our attention on your word that teaches us as to who and what you are. This is our briefing and the way to be oriented to your grace, to be oriented to your plan for our life, because apart from it there is no stability, there is no happiness, there is no meaning in life. It is only when we are oriented to your plan, beginning at the cross, that we can have an understanding our reality and our purpose in our destiny in life and what you are doing in our life. So, Father, as we worship you, we pray that God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us, motivate us, and challenge us and make these things a blessing to us. All this we ask in Christ's name. Amen. <clears throat> okay, welcome everyone. I hope you are in the pink of health and ready to take in Bible doctrine today. Now, I guess we are going to uh, wrap up this uh, particular doctrine that we have been uh, concentrating for the past few days and uh, so uh, may I have now your concentration to our study. Now always remember that God's timing is right. Not only that it is right, it is perfect. Everything in life needs timing. We have always established that fact, and we keep repeating that. And when it comes to us believers, our life needs to be attuned, needs to adjust, to orient, to be in line with God's timing, or else we will only live a powerless, meaningless kind of life, living a life just like that of an unbeliever. We already had been clarified by the Word of God that our life as believers would be miserable if we have no doctrine in our soul. And if we have no doctrine in our soul, that definitely is a bad timing. And bad timing inevitably results to wrong and bad decisions. So, can you see how ruining and devastating this bad timing is to our life as human beings, much more to us believers in Christ. I repeat to say this point of doctrine, 
that timing has to do with everything in life. Therefore, if your timing is off in any area of your life, you will have a problem. Because a believer without doctrine, as I always say, is a life of bad timing. So, for a believer, only God's timing is what he needs to be in line, in sync with, to have a life of good timing. Only God's timing and nothing else. You see, in the protocol plan of God, if we look at it as a whole, God's timing is in the limelight. What I mean by that is that God's timing should be observed, must be followed, must be considered if we believers do trust and obey God's will. In fact, to be in line with God's timing is to be right with God's timing or thinking His will, His purpose, His plan for our life as believers. In a nutshell, once we are in line with God's timing, we are able to pursue our spiritual momentum. Thus, we eventually produce spiritual growth, which leads to the defeat of evil in the believer's life, resulting in the production of divine good and the anticipation of grace blessing. Still further, this leads us believers to the utilization of God's ten problem-solving devices in life. The problem prevention, problem anticipation, problem identification, and problem solving devices in life. And it results in the occupation with our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we believers can attain that stage of being occupied with the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the tenth problem-solving device, we develop the virtue of humility or of being grace-oriented, which is the first floor of the edification complex of the soul. Now, why is this possible? The answer, because we believer, as believers had applied the pertinent doctrine to develop the virtue of humility, starting from putting ourselves under authority, under the authority of the pastor teacher teaching doctrine that was enforced humility until we reach genuine humility, which made us to be more teachable. And listen. During the whole time that we were doing this process, without our being aware of it, we were actually in sync, in line with the timing of God. Hence, every time we believers perform our day-to-day -day chore, whatever it may be, we are doing it without our noticing it. We are l doing it in sync and in line with God's timing. And mind you, we are doing it as unto the Lord. That is the positive effect of metabolized doctrine that is now resident in our soul as believers. So, to sum it up, if we believers do keep on keeping on in our spiritual momentum inside the power sphere, the operational divine atmosphere, automatically we are in sync with God's perfect timing. We are not only in sync with the timing of God, but we are in sync and in line with the policy of God, which is grace. Remember, God's policy is grace. That should likewise be foremost in our mental attitude. You see, Speaking of grace as God's policy, had God not have grace as his policy, we would all be in absolute disgrace. That is how God deals with us, desperate and miserable creatures. 
He deals with us by His grace. Can you imagine that? And listen, it is God's grace that makes us able to study this doctrine of timing. It's grace that enables us to breathe and to be alive in this planet. All these things, including your family, your time, your job, your home, your car, your income, your very own life, you are still alive, all because of the grace of God. You know what? All those things I just mentioned, you don't deserve. None of us deserve to own, and yet you have. Again, it's all because of God's grace. Okay, by the way, there is one thing you and I deserve, the lake of fire. But as believers in Jesus Christ, we are not going there. God has his own timing in his protocol. And that timing of his is the only perfect kind of timing. Now, going back to the development of humility in our life as believers, after a considerable time of putting ourselves under the authority of a believer who has the spiritual gift of teaching, meaning the pastor teacher, then, like I said, genuine humility is progressively developed in our soul. Your attending Bible studies in your congregation, in your church, of course, listening to our Bible studies through the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry, either in pure English or in the local dialect, the Cebuano Visayan version, your interest and desire to study God's Word in any of these means, that is a manifestation of the genuine humility that you now have in your soul. And you're having that commendable virtue was made possible by your synchronization and being in line with God's timing. Do you know what I mean? Here, by the way, we wrap up this study in the doctrine of timing. It is our hope then that you derive the vital information out of this doctrinal study which you can use and apply in your spiritual life. Don't forget this ministry's slogan, Operation SLBA. Study, learn, believe, and apply the Word of God in your life. It is our prayer that you keep on keeping on advancing in doctrine, heading towards our common goal as believers in Christ, which is spiritual maturity, the capacity stage in life. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for your unfailing love by providing us this precious moment to commune with you through your word. May the things you taught us on this particular doctrine of timing be stored up in the frontal lobe of our mentality and to circulate now in the stream of our consciousness. May God, the Holy Spirit, continue to challenge, motivate us to advance in our unique spiritual life. All these we ask in the name of the King of kings and Lord of lords, even the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.